In this video, we're going to talk about how to use VLOOKUP in order to quickly find information using Excel. Now, granted, the data that I have on this page is not that much, so you can quickly find any information that you need. But let's say if I had 200 uh, lines of data, let's say 200 sales agents, then it could take a lot of time to look up the information that you need to find. And so VLOOKUP, it's a very useful function. It can help you to quickly find the information you're looking for if you have a large a list of data. So let's talk about how to use it. Let's say we want to find the revenue for a certain individual. So I'm going to put name in this column and revenue on the right side. We're also going to look up their email and also their phone number. So let's choose Michael. Let's say if we want to find the revenue that Michael generated in commissions. So what you need to do is type in equal VLOOKUP and then in the first value, the lookup value, we're looking for Michael, which he's in cell C15. So write C15 and then comma. Now you need to select the table array. And I'm going to select the entire table array. So just highlight everything. Now the column index number. So we're looking for the revenue. And so the revenue is in column B, which is going to be column 2. A is column 1, C is column 3, D is column 4, and so forth. So we want to get the value in column 2. Now for the last one, the range lookup, there's two options, true or false. If you want to get an approximate match, let's say if you accidentally misspell Michael's name, but it's close, then you want to select true. If you want to get an exact match, select false. So I'm going to go with the exact match. And notice that it gives me Michael's revenue for the year, $225,000. So as you can see, I could find anything in this uh, data list. Now let's say if I want to look up Susan's email. I want to send her an email letting her know that she did a good job this year. So let's follow the same procedure. Let's type in equals V lookup parentheses. Now the lookup value is where Susan is located and she's in cell C16 comma and then we're going to select the same table array all four columns comma now for the column index, we want to find her email, and the email is within the third column, column C. So we're going to write 3 for the third column. And then we're going to use false again for the exact match. And so as you can see, it returns uh, this value, her email, which we can see here, susan.r at msn.com. Okay, I want to get rid of this. Now. Let's say if we wanted to look up Michael's, actually, let's choose someone else. Let's choose uh, Joseph. We want to find his phone number. Give him a call. Let him know that he did a, a, a very good job this year. So everything is going to be the same. Equal VLOOKUP. And Joseph, his name is located in cell C17 select the entire table array and then comma so the phone number is going to be in column 4 which is column D and then let's choose false again so this will give us Joseph's number which is 913-412-8593 so as you can see it's not very difficult to use the VLOOKUP function in order to locate the information that you're looking for in a large data list. Now, let's say if we want to find Lauren's revenue. So do we need to type in VLOOKUP again? It turns out that we don't. Once we have this set up, we can easily change the name. So if you switch Michael's name and put Lauren's name here, it's automatically going to adjust the revenue. So now you can find Lauren's revenue, which is 148,000. 
and so you don't have to retype the VLOOKUP expression. So let's say if we want to locate John's email. Just replace Susan with John, and the email will change. So we have john.p at yahoo.com. Now the last one, let's say if we want to find Rachel's phone number. So replace Joseph with Rachel, and then the number will change. Now there's a lot of other stuff that you can use uh, VLOOK before, but I just want to give you a basic introduction on how you can uh, use it to quickly uh, look up information. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.